hello guys welcome back to our channel it's shocking really that junaid mohammed who has always been one person who likes to to support his own where necessary has started talking even the opposite even against the very own people he has always been supporting but before we go into the news proper to probably ascertain exactly what junaid mohammed the second republican lawmaker has said we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well Dr. Junan Mohammed, elder statesman and second republic federal lawmaker, called on President Muhammad Buhari to resign from office if he cannot take decisive decisions to secure the future of Nigeria. While speaking with Daily Independent, Junaid condemned the alleged indecision of President Buhari in resolving the hashtag NSAS protest, which rocked the country just a while ago and led to massive destruction of pro pu public and private assets in Lagos and other parts of the country. According to Junaid, the Buhari administration is giving in to blackmail and its lack of firmness in taking critical decisions may spell doom for the country. The government is giving in too much to blackmail and if Buhari is not prepared to confront the reality of the governance of this country and maintain peace, he should resign. Junaid, who said President Buhari won't be the first democratically elected president to resign, cited the example of Richard Nixon, former president of the United States, who resigned in 1974 in a wake of Watergate scandal. He won't be the first democratically elected president to resign. Richard was elected by overwhelming majority but he was forced to resign when he made some false moves resigning voluntarily is part and parcel of democratic culture of any country on earth so if buhari can't do the job he was elected to do it let him give way these people who started this agitation and scoundrels like namdekano of ipob must be confronted if you don't confront them they will keep coming a more and the more they come back, so it is up to the government to do what is right. That is if they know what is even right to do. Speaking further on the hashtag NSAS protest, Junan said the Western Nigerian Security, that's uh, WNS, that's codenamed Operation Amotekun, did not live up to its responsibilities during the hashtag NSAS protest especially the mayhem in Lagos and some southwestern states. Hoodlums who seized the hashtag NSAS protest unleashed violence resulting in destruction of public and private assets. Junaid also condemned pan-Yoruba social political organization Afeni Fere and its leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, whom he said threatened the southwestern governors with revolt if they failed to establish Amotekun in their respective states. According to him, these characters in Afenifere under this Ayo Adebajo, Adebanjo are making noise and selling and saying publicly that if Yoruba governors don't create Amotekun, they are going to incite their people against the government. A responsible man will never say this. If they want to create a crisis because you don't like some people, fine. Other people will also create their problems. We were told that Amotekun is a harmless but effective security organization. Now we have we are having hashtag NSAS crisis with looting with looting everywhere. Have you seen one Amotekun official or a single vehicle anywhere in the southwest? They simply disappeared. Let me tell you this. And I have been saying this in the past 30 years. If every state in Nigeria can take care of their own security, Kano, my home state, and Lagos can never do that because they don't have the manpower. Kano state and Lagos people don't join the police force because they are mostly business people and traders. I want to throw a challenge to federal government. Let them withdraw all the security operatives in Lagos and in Kano State. Let's see how there will be peace there, he said. Of course, Nigerians have taken to the social media 
to talk about this matter. Now the question is, he said a lot of things. He said, look, if if the federal government led by President Muhammad Buhari doesn't stand firm, address issues decisively, she for goodness sake resign. That is an honorable thing and it's not even the first to uh, resign. He said an example of U.S. president then history. In Nigeria, we don't know how to resign. No. We don't understand resignation in Nigeria. What we understand is, is that sack or what? We don't understand. We don't understand resign. There's nothing like resigning in Nigeria. You just see it through anyhow. Just manage anyhow you are doing it. Just manage, except the sack you. So, uh, the, are you the first? In fact, they try to res- to resign so as if they are insulting your intelligence. So, uh, uh, Doctor Junaid, you're asking for mission impossible. There's no, we don't understand. Res- there's nothing like resignation in Nigeria. Maybe it's maybe constitutional, but it's not uh, practical in Nigeria. Maybe in future, hopefully, when Nigeria really gets better, you can be talking about resignation. Impeach, even the impeachment itself, it's not, uh, it's not doable with Nigeria. It's not safe, it's not possible, but in, practically, it's not, it's, not, it's not a Nigerian thing. That's the word. It's not, it's not a Nigerian thing. We have the Nigerian things. Nigerian things are the systematic, it's a system thing. It has to do with system error. We are used to do system errors. Over time, it has become a Nigerian thing. But Nigerians have taken to the social media to react over what um, uh, Junaid has said. And some persons have called him out over the issue of armor tech on the South, the Southwest are quite very sensitive when it comes to the issue of armor tech on. Now let's find out what uh, most people are saying concerning what Junaid have generally said. But a whole lot of them are actually talking about armor tech on. This one here is saying, what is your opinion on the and the demands by the NSAS movement stop beating around the bush. He's saying that uh, some of them are saying he's just busy talking about taking decisive decisions, but the demands that was made by NSAS protests, he didn't mention them. This man said, Well, what he said is true. This one here said, What he said is true. Let the old man resign. This one here said, What the old man is waiting for. To resign, I don't understand what he's trying to write here. But so he says, God bless you, sir, for a wonderful presentation. This one here is saying, a privilege and majority run thing to be felt. Some people are indeed very hungry. Junior Mama needs food handouts. I don't understand. Oh, needs food handouts. But that's one thing I know about Nigeria. We have what we call our personal opinion. He's only differ from us. It doesn't. That's his opinion. Us is our opinion. So if he feels that uh, President Mohamed Bar should resign if he cannot control the country or hold it firmly, and he made mention of the fact that a lot of persons have been blackmailing him. A typical example, he said in Mazinam the Khan is a scoundrel who has been insulted and blackmailing uh, the presidency, and he keeps doing it again and again. And that's because the presidency is not taking, uh, President Buhari is not taking decisive decision over that matter and every other matter, especially NSAS. Now that's uh, administrative uh, uh, bureaucracies. I'm sure they're looking into a lot of these things because if these things are me- if they allow things to actually go the way they're going, actually let's be truthful to ourselves. We're heading towards anarchy. To a very good extent, we are heading towards an- an- anarchy because not ev- it's wrong for everybody or anybody to wake up every day at any time but to begin to you know like what a uh, uh, princess Ajibode Jibola did calling uh, the MNES International, giving them seven days to leave the country or else there will be civil disobedience. You ask the question, so who is Princess Ajibola to make such insightful statement, insightful statement, to make such his speech, such uh, heavyweight, uh, uh, in fact, the same the difference between what she's saying and Boko Haram, there's no difference, it's the same thing. Just that probably she wasn't carrying gold when she was making those her broadcasts. Because that's the same thing Boko Haram would do. That's what, that, what she's saying. That there's going to be civil unrest. And the government here today have not arrested her. These are the things we're talking about. These are the things Jonad Mohammed is talking about. Where everybody can wake up one morning and begin to threaten anybody. And the person walks freely. It's wrong. And that's what Jonad is saying. Look, take a decisive position. But also, Nigerians are now asking him. So, look, sir, if you're going to say we should, he, he should resign or should take a de- concise decision over this matter, have you also mentioned what the answers people are asking for? Have they met the requirement that caused even the protest to take place to the point that hulums attracted and it became something else? So, because he, 
if you are talking to the hawk, also talk to the chick too, so that they will be on the same pedestal. Well, what do you think about what United said concerning the fact that he's calling out President Mohamed Bahari to resign if he cannot take firm decisions over so many things, and how the fact that a lot of Nigerians are actually blackmailing him. That's why he needs to take firm decisions, or else he should resign. And we talk about Amotekun as well. Let's listen to that conversation. Let's listen to that.